Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 3rd of 2024 is titled Temperatures on Exoplanet Wasp 43b. So what do we see here? Well, this is a uh, illustration of the exoplanet's orbit and this is the exoplanet known as WASP 43b and is what we would call a hot Jupiter. Now a hot Jupiter is an unusual type of planet something we don't have in our solar system. And one of the things that we've been finding is we start to find more and more planets outside the solar system. A hot Jupiter refers to a planet that is Jupiter sized, but is very close to its star. So in inner in this case closer many, many, many times closer than Mercury is in our own solar system. And in fact, the orbital period of this planet is less than one Earth day. Now think about that. That's not its day. That's its year. That's how long it takes it to orbit around its star one time, about eight tenths of a day. So less than one day it whips around the star. And that's how close it is just a couple of million kilometers away, which compares to the 58 million kilometers for Mercury in our own solar system. So we are finding lots of planets that are very close to their stars. And one of the things we're noting here is that measurements now made by the Webb Space Telescope can tell us about the temperatures on the day side and the night side. Now, like many other objects, this this is tidally locked to its star. Now, that's the way our moon orbits Earth. It always keeps one side facing Earth. And that applies for many of the moons in the solar system. For the planets, not so much. But when you get a planet this close to a star, it is going to be tidally locked as well. And that means that it has one side permanently facing the star and one side permanently facing away. So you might think you'd have a really hot side and a really cool side. And that's not quite what we're finding. Yes, the near side is 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty hot compared to anything we have in our own solar system. However, the nighttime side is still a 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning that it's still very hot and that there is enough heat transport within the atmosphere to keep the night side even though it is a permanent night side remember that side never sees the so the star in this solar system it is always pointing away but the cur currents within the atmosphere are able to transfer enough heat to keep even the night side which never sees this star very hot as well and in fact hotter than what we see in our own solar system for any of the surfaces of objects that we look at here. So it's something very interesting now that we're able to get better measurements of some of these we're learning more and more about these planets. In fact, we're finding that there is water vapor present in the night side and the day side of the planet. So it's starting to tell us something about what the clouds might be like. So we while we can't really see any of these planets, we can we can infer their existence through gravitational effects and through eclipses. But we can start to learn a little more about them through measurements with things like Webb here that is giving us much more detail. Now this is a relatively nearby one being a little less than 300 light years from Earth. So that's relatively close within our own galaxy which is 100,000 light years across. So we're starting to find more and more planets and even some that are very close to our own Earth. So that was our picture of the day for May 3rd of 2024. It was titled Temperatures on Exoplanet Wasp 43b. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be A New Hope. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.